conversations. We'll be gathering back in five minutes.
We'll bring the illustrious Lucy Gray back up to give us a framework for pool tools.
their peers to take a similar action themselves. And then they would like, so we do it across schools, where one school will say, I would like to, we at our school want to reduce the amount of waste we have in our cafeteria, so all of our food is going to be served on one day a year, it's going to be served on the place, I don't know what But then they in turn will have to send that challenge to another school, which will do the same thing, and they'll see how many students they can get to go online and get to commit to that. So as we're working together, all these brilliant collaborations that we have, this is an example of how we can take something from a concept, from a joint writing, into actual concrete action, and then create it and use it and make something really special happen. So I totally encourage you to take a look and actually sign up and give it to some actions. <laughs>
also they're learning about another place somewhere in our country or outside our country, and they're also learning more about where they live. Because what I would do with my students, sometimes they would be asked, um, you know, what region of the country you're in. There was a lot of discussion even about what does that mean, what do we learn? So um, this is a great way for you to take a first step in connecting your students.
Russia's refugees and migrants crossing the borders of Serbia, Croatia, and Pennsylvania. The 7.8 earthquake that struck the Katmandu Valley and three World Heritage Sites last year destroyed religious artwork from ancient temples. And this is a young girl from the Mercy tribe living on the banks of the Unger Valley in southwestern Ethiopia. Due to the development of a hydro power dam, they are self sustaining and raise supply for at risk. The goal in this project is a multimedia platform which hosts photo essays, short films, and articles, and yeah, photo essays, and also has accompanying lesson plans, and they're all for free for teachers. And I'm going to show you right now a short trailer, which is 60 seconds long, from our short films over the past decade. People will change, the world will change. If there's no more salmon, there will be no more war by no more. Freedom before I came here was just another word. I've never been to prison before. Mom, this is our last one speaker now. Come on, Dad.
because that's where all of the intellectual outlets are. So I had students write a letter to this fourth grader trying to convince this fourth grader to play outside. And here is one student's response. I'll read this out loud. Have you ever heard someone say the words natural beauty? You're right, electrical outlets work pretty great, but if you've ever seen a water flow fall overflowing the water, iPhones are also a great way to pass time, but have you ever seen the meadow with flowers in full bloom? Candy Crush can become a lifestyle, but have you ever felt the warmth of sunshine on you when you weren't expecting it? You live in a world of natural beauty where it was before. So feel free to check us out online. Um, all of our material is for free, and we'll also be in the expo hall during the conference as well, booth number 3914. Come say hi. Thanks so much.
in which they share and refine their ideas while being mentored by graduate students and, re and researchers in their respective fields. And the proof was in the pudding. Following COP22, these 14 nations went on to share their researches at 18 of the world's top research institutes, 200 plus presentations to NGO industries and governments, and they inspired another 50,000 students to work on projects. As a result of this work, we are excited to announce to you today that a sponsored project of a similar scale on global citizenship has been invited to be presented at the UNESCO World Forum in 2017. And furthermore, we are also excited to announce that in collaboration with His Highness Abdulaziz al Buwami, a Crown Prince of the United Arab Emirates, also known as the Green Sheik, has invited you all to participate in Decarbonize 22, in which we work to create the world's largest synthesis of youth opinion on water and climate change, as well as presenting and hosting a parallel event in Morocco at the UN's Climate Change Conference there. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to leave you with two statements, one by a student, then one by a teacher. Our Bruna in Brazil said, before I felt a kind of hopelessness about global situations we are in today, I feel like I have nothing to do that matters. After decarbonize, I feel we can work together, we can make a difference. And Mr. Body from the Global College in Sweden, every student on the planet should have an opportunity to do this. So to close the question, we asked ourselves many years ago in our founding statement at Starbucks, help us that we under cups. I think that we all under in this work as well as educators and collaborators. If our students are actively engaged in all aspects of society and thought of themselves in these different ways as community leaders, problem solvers, role models, mentors, and key stakeholders, how the world change. Thanks.